the next query really is regarding a woman who is pregnant or is nursing, breastfeeding, nursing, rearing the children. Why are they exempted? According to the words of the Quran in Surah Baqarah, chapter number two, verse number 185, that if a person is ill and traveling, he can make up his prescribed periods of day of fasting later on. So most of the fuqahs, most of the scholars, they say that these women who are pregnant and breastfeeding, they come under the category of those who are ill. So therefore, if they want, they can abstain from fasting. But there are clear-cut say a hadith in which the Prophet has exempted these women from fasting. Mentioned in Sunan ibn Majah, hadith number 1667, that a beloved Prophet says, the obligation for a person to fast and part of the prayer who has been lifted from a traveler. And the obligation for fasting has been lifted from a lady who's pregnant and who's breastfeeding. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad also said, it's mentioned in Sunan Nisai, in the book of fasting, hadith number 2274, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has relieved the traveler from fasting and half his prayer. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has relieved the pregnant woman and the woman who's breastfeeding from fasting. So based on these two hadith also, it's clear cut that the pregnant woman and the women who are breastfeeding, they have been exempted. And the logical reason that one can think is because when a lady, she's pregnant or she's breastfeeding, the food she eats is not only for herself. It's for herself as well as the baby she's carrying or the baby she's feeding. So but natural, if her fasting makes it difficult for her or become difficult for a baby, then she's exempted from fasting. But if she's in the early stage of pregnancy, and if she feels, or she's breastfeeding, and if she feels that fasting will not cause any damage to her health, and will not cause a damage to the baby, then she should fast. If she has a doubt, if she can do it with hardship, as long as there's no damage to herself, to her health, and the baby, she has the option to fast, not to fast. But if it's causing damage to her health, or the baby, it becomes haram for her to fast. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not want to lay a burden more than what a person can bear. And in this regard, that is the reason Allah has exempted them. Later on when they are healthy, when they stop breastfeeding, or when the pregnancy ends after postnatal bleeding, then they have to make up for the fast they have missed before the next.